Ooh. Sorry about that. It seems this game doesn't actually load my options in until I press start there. So, uh, that was the default volume setting. Oh boy. Let's try that again from the top, shall we? Shantae, half genie hero. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Shantae, Half Genie Hero. <laughs> that went much better. This game came out in 2016, and it's a 2D Metroidvania affair, as well as the fourth game in the Shantae franchise, the third one I've personally Let's Played, and the first one that abandons the pixel art aesthetic in exchange for HD art. So that should be cool to look at. Before we begin, I'd like to mention that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, but uh, other than that, Everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Here's hoping we all enjoy ourselves. I'd also like to give a very special shout-out to my good friend Seigi, who gifted me this game. And it means a lot to me. The way the last one ended, I thought had just so much potential for where they could go from there. So I have been looking forward to this one for quite a while now. And it's all thanks to Segi that it's happening. So truly, thank you, friend. I hope you enjoy this series, because it's dedicated to you. I'd also like to give a surprise second special shout-out to Clunk279, a Burning Dog fan who gifted me uh, some of the DLC here. Let me see. Yeah. Friends to the End and Pirate Queen's Curse. So that should be fun. But uh, even if we uh, aren't getting to that for a while, thank you. I really appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's play Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Ret to go. Is someone there? Mm. Hello? Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Sorry about that, I'd only been in the game for about five seconds and already I needed to sneeze. <laughs> Live demo, folks. Uh, ret to go is uh, sort of a catchphrase of Shantae's, and the first time I did testing, that's actually what she said when I uh, said, let's go. <laughs> This is animated very fluidly. I like that. I also like to note, uh, Shantae's signature move, in case you've forgotten, is using her hair to whip her enemies. But since she's letting her hair down and it's not currently in a ponytail, I can't do that. Pretty. I don't remember any of this being outside uh, Shantae's home. I like that the fireflies move when you touch them. Uncle Mimic. Oh, Uncle. You fell asleep in your workshop again. Never seen that trapdoor before. I wonder where it leads. I also don't remember her uncle having a workshop right next to her uh, lighthouse, which got me wondering as I reached the screen if this was a dream. I was just admiring the scenery for a moment there. Mm. Can't look up. The camera really wants me to look down. Mm. 
Okay, noted. No, what the hell? Oh, um, it seems Shantae is smart enough not to stick her face into fire. Or, you know, to respect the laws of background elements. <laughs> I do like that. You be dead. Huh? What is this place? Does Uncle even know it's down here? There goes that voice again. Welcome, daughter of the genies. Who, who said that? Whoever you are, you had better come out right now. I think this moment right here is where I officially drew the line and started over to continue my testing because I didn't want to know anything else. <laughs> Who are you? A messenger from the genie realm. I have summoned you here to warn you of a great danger. Very soon, an agent of darkness will strike at the heart of our world. It seeks to corrupt our magic and use it for its own selfish gain. With our power at its disposal, this Agent of Darkness will reign supreme over both of our worlds. And no one will escape its wrath. Oh no, this sounds serious! How do we stop it? As a daughter of the genies, only you have the power to do this. Me? But how? I will help you where I can. Listen for my voice and follow your heart as you always have. Only then can both our worlds be saved. Wait, don't go! What about my mother? Is she there with you? I can barely hear you! Is she in danger too? Please tell me! Please, I have to know! Don't leave me! Sure. Whoa, vibrant. Boy, oh boy, that was some crazy dream I had. Called it. No more comic books in bed from now on. That whole tub of cookie dough ice cream probably didn't help much either. Oh well. Now that I'm up, it's time to meet Uncle. He's probably at his workshop, knee-deep in gizmos and goo -gah goo -gahs. Okay, I don't know how to talk to people. Up doesn't do it, A doesn't do it, X, X! Okay, there we go. I think it used to be up. Visit the item shop if you enjoy customizing your abilities. Yeah, I had a feeling. I do remember that guy. Hey girl, press Y to shake those hips! Okay. And I press Y again to stop. So, if you didn't watch the others, Shantae here is a half-genie, which means she has magic powers. The uh, ending that I said had so much potential? See, at the end of Risky's Revenge, the second game, she lost her magic, and at the end of Pirate's Curse, the third game, she got it back! Which brings us to now. Ah, oh, there's the workshop. Looks like the art gallery is closed right now. No relaxing visuals for this guy. Okay, just does the same thing again. Just wanted to make sure of that. Are you a Medusa? Mom always tells me to avert my eyes and you walk by. Uh. Oh, you're in the background. I can't actually speak to you. The old man who saves your progress? He's always standing over the town gate. What is that? Yeah, you can press start and check the sub-screen. Fill your pockets with treasures and good eats! Noted. Yeah, Shantae uses belly dancing to cast her spells. At least that's how it worked in Risky's Revenge. So this was 
this. No, I don't have a map yet. Um, me? I'm a guard. I knew that. You're the protector, Genie. I've heard you can whip monsters with your hair by pressing X. Confirmed. Nice. I seem to recall, at least the, uh, my understanding of it, was that uh, Shantae's mother is a genie, and her father was a human, and that a certain amount of time ago, just out of nowhere, all the genies in the world just suddenly up and vanished. Just sent themselves off to another dimension, like the genie realm, I guess. And that includes Shantae's mother, but not Shantae, because she's not a full-blooded genie. So, you know, bummer. Where was the workshop? Was this the workshop? Well, there was only two directions, so let's keep going. There you are. I knew it had an open door on it. Hello, Uncle Mimic. B. Okay, B. Good morning, Uncle! Mm-hmm. Say, I had the weirdest dream last night. And you can tell me all about it. But first, give your old Uncle Mimic a hand, will you? Sure, is this something to do with your new invention? You'll see. I've got a mechanical part on back order. Should have arrived today. I sent your pal Bolo over to the item shop to pick it up, but he hasn't come back yet. That was over an hour ago. Always his head in the clouds, that boy. Would you mind picking up the part for me? Sure thing, Uncle. A quest! I remember Bolo. The joke is that he's kind of an idiot, but he means well. Sorry about that again. My part should be already at the item shop by now. B also talks to people, it would seem. I'm gonna keep using X, though, because, uh... Who uses B to talk to people, honestly? Oops. Let's not use the stick, it's imprecise. Yes, D-pad is where it's at. I did not actually see the item shop. Sky is Hatchery, that's her other BFF, bathhouse. Item shop! Yes, okay. Were these all closed before? Was that what that was? Oh yeah, the T-Rex skull. I forgot about that. Welcome to the item shop. We'll be open for business in just a few minutes. Alright, Bolo wasn't there, I can't help but notice. Let's check the bathhouse. Aha! You're a Bolo, I know you. Bolo? <laughs> that art. <laughs> Gotta say, I really like that the sprites now match the, uh, the, the, the dialogue portraits. What are you doing in the bathhouse? Uncle's waiting for you to deliver his package. You're in the wrong shop, you numbskull. This woman. She's like a bathroom angel. And I'm saving a screenshot out of context. Oh, good gravy, not this again. Snap out of it! Can't look away. Never mind, I'll talk to her. Good morning, and welcome to the bathhouse. A place where you can rejuvenate your body and spirit with the tranquil, uh, tranquil sounds and scents of hardcore, white-knuckle, full-throttle max relaxation. Normally, I'd offer you advice about your quest, but right now I'm trying to figure out where this receipt came from. Whoever delivered that drooling buffoon statue over there must have dropped it. Anyway, if you're heading to the shop next door, please take this receipt with you. You got sales slip! And remember, if you ever lose your way, come see me for a free hint. Good to know. Oh, Bolo. Guess I'm picking up Uncle's delivery. And I can't whip him because X just talks to people if you're standing next to him. Can't even, like, slap him across the face and say, Get a hold of yourself, man! What's this one? Oh, let's check in with our other friend, then. Hello, Sky. Oh, goddamn, what's the bird's name? I don't remember the bird's name. Ah, that cool ocean breeze feels amazing. But I think we're in for another hot one. 
Good morning, Sky. Have you seen Bolo? Try the bathhouse. Last I saw him, he was heading in that direction. I do like the animation there, that where she actually switches the bird from one hand to the other as she turns around. You know, so they can mirror the sprites. <laughs> I believe the Friends to the End uh, DLC package is, uh, for a change of pace, something bad happens to Shantae, and Bolo, Sky, and, uh, Shantae's zombie friend Roddy Tops have to team up to, uh, save the day. At least I think it was Roddy Tops. Oh! You're picking up for your uncle, then? Just show me that receipt and I'll fetch it for you. No. Oh no, what shipment is yours without the receipt? Can't believe that actually worked. What does this say? Sales slip. I can use this to get Uncle's shipment from the item shop. Oh, all right. You can have it. You gave up sales slip. Okie dokie, let's see here. Yep. Here's his order. It was stuck to this box of hard drives. <laughs> you got magnet. <laughs> Why do they even have, ma have hard drives? They don't have computers in this world. <laughs> No idea what that thing's for, but knowing your uncle, it must be something special. Magnet. Delivery for Uncle Mimic. Take it to his workshop. Let's save this actual progress real quick. Thank you. Pretty sure I should be able to press up here to go to the map, but I guess they want me to stay in town for now. I also do wonder what's up with the bubbling meter of boiling Mountain Dew. Hello, Mimic. Ah, oh, you have something for me. Here you go. Oh, it's here! My magnet has finally arrived. That means it's shime to t it's shime? Yes, it's shime to tow off my latest invention. Oh my, what is it, Uncle? Something to help you defend the town! It looks like a giant, like, liar with no strings. L-Y-R-E, not L-I-A-R. I call it the Dynamo. Dyna meow Oh, Dino meow Dynamo! It's a contraption from the old world that I'm attempting to piece back together. That magnet you brought me goes right... Here, like that, you see. Once it's completed, this machine will generate enough electricity to light up Scuttletown day and night. I'm not actually sure if Mimic is even really related to her, but I see no reason not to assume that she's her late father's brother. That he's her late father's brother, yeah. Uh, it'll chase away every monster and pirate within a ten mile radius. Scuttletown will be safe and sound. And you get to relax for a change. That's amazing, Uncle. When will it be ready? Well, there are still a few components missing, but I'm getting close. Next, I need to add a... Uh, let's see here. Where are my dynamo blueprints? I had them last night, but now they're gone! Did you try looking in the basement? Basement? My workshop hasn't got one. But there's a trap door right in the... Ah! A tinker bat! That filthy pirate just ran off with my blueprints! Don't worry, Uncle, I'll... And Risky Boots is bombarding the town again. Was that cannon fire? That blast came from Main Street! I've got to go. Scuttle... That. You'll need a ride. Head to Sky's Hatchery, quickly! Eek! Pirate attack! This is why every town employs a guardian genie, just in case. I don't run. Cool! Pirates are gonna blow the shipyards to smithereens! What are smithereens? Oh, you're right, background guy. Never a dull moment around this place. Everything's on fire! When pirates attack, it's best to run in circles. That's how they do it in the Caribbean. Nobody panic! I'll fight the attackers all by myself! Oh, 
large woman is clearly having the time of her fucking life. Polo's gone. Hello. Sky! I heard it. Main Street is under attack. I'd give you a ride, but none of my birds is big enough. It is unless... It should, definitely should have been R big enough. Unless what? Wrench, I need you. That was what it was. Wrench, yes. Because she could actually use that uh, bird as a wrench. Ready to show Shantae our newest trick? Mega Wrench Metamorphosis! That's a new one. How did he... Here. You got Whistle. A bird whistle? I'll explain later. Just get on already. Eek! <laughs> Relax. Wrench can stay this size for several seconds. Seconds? Just choose a location and we'll drop you off. <laughs> uh, uh... Bit quickly. I guess running into this man in between scenes is their equivalent of uh, auto saving. This is your stop. Now about that bird whistle. I've added it to your sub screen. Noted. Well, whistle, summon wrench to give you a lift. All of the items you collect can be found there. If you ever need a lift, go to your subscreen and blow that whistle. Got it? You bet. Now watch as I give those pirates a taste of my silky split ends of justice! <sighs> Just go. I won't let you down. I won't let you down, either. No, I mean I'm literally not letting you down. Get! Ouch! What is her deal? Is that punishment for the joke? Well, appropriately enough at the beginning of this sequence, the timer has gone, so I'm going to call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been the premiere episode. Oh. <laughs> oh my. I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Later.